Hey guys, you're back again with the Vape Invader. I'm going to try and keep this one nice and quick. Well, it's not going to be quick because there's a lot of juices. You've got five juices to get through and six Nick Salts. This company sent them both where I've decided to do a more than one review. Um, I'm just going to try not to miss about. I don't want them being too long. I think the long videos aren't going down so well at the minute. Right, so anyway, straight on with it. Every review on the liquid is going to be on the Vupu Drag with the Nudged 24 Dual Coil. And it's going to be running at, let me just knock it down, 80 watts on a 0.1 build. And then the Nick Salts will be on the Inakin EQ. Right, let's get start, started. So, first one. The company is called Ombrew. There will be five of these liquids and then six Nick Salts, like I said. It's the Badass Blend, and this one is the Killer Cola. It's already in there, already wicked up. Let's give it a vape. I'm actually pleasantly surprised, guys, because I will say, when I tried these and I drip tested them on my finger, they did taste a little bit chemically, and I thought, oh, no, it's not going to be very good. But you never know. When you come to vape them, it's a totally different ball game. When you dip in, it's just giving you a rough guess of what the flavour is going to be. But, yeah. That Killer Cola, it's a nice cola. It's not cold. It's not overly cold. There's a little bit of cooling agent in it, or something in there to make it cold, but it's not overpowering. It's actually not a bad cola. I've had better, but I've also had a lot worse. So, we'll go out and come back with his next one, which will be the Punchy Pineapple. Guys, we're back. We're waked up with the Punchy Pineapple. Again, I'm pleasantly surprised, guys. You know, I was actually not looking forward to doing this review because of the drip test. I've not actually vaped these. I've been vaping the Nick Salts, but this is like crack and vape with these. Yeah, that is... Um, it's like a sweet pineapple. And I'd say there's some citrusy notes in there. A little bit of lime, a little bit of lemon. But the pineapple's the main, main flavour that's predominantly coming through. Yeah, really enjoyable, guys. I like that one. So let's move on to the next one. It's the Tangy Twister. Tangy Twister, again, we're by Homebrew. These are all by Homebrew, guys. All right, guys, so we're back with the Tangy Twister. Straight off at back, guys, I'm guessing that is their twist on the Twister Lolly, which is obviously a tropical flavour with some sweet raspberry and a little hint of lime. Not bad, not bad again. What I would say is I'd like to have seen that colder, just because, you know, Twister Lolly, cold, colder flavour. It's just my thing, but yeah, again, not a bad flavour. I'm actually quite shocked, guys, so we're going to keep it rolling. Um, freaky Fruits. Here we go again, guys. The Freaky Fruits. Mm. I'm not sure with this one. It's like... I'm going to have to look that one up, guys. I'm getting a melon. And it's quite... It's cold. It's a little bit colder than the others. Apparently, it's a summer fruits and melon. Yeah. Now I think about it. Yeah, yeah. The, you know, like the summer fruits, um, dilute pop and stuff like that. But the melon, it's a very nice, sweet honeydew melon. Really, really nice. I, do you know, it's just, it's ridiculous. I remember talking to a friend of mine and saying that I was really not looking forward to this review because I've done the test on my hand. I know I've already mentioned it once, guys, but I've actually not like, disliked any of the ones I've vaped so far. And this is the last one of the big bottles, guys. This is the blue slush. So let's give it a crack and a vape. I'm just going to go re wick. Well, guys, so we're back with the blue slush. Fucking finally. Pardon my French, guys, but you know, I've swore on the channel before. Finally, a company's put coldness in with the blue slush. I know there is others out there that have done it, but I've tried so many lately. 
Um, this one being for one, the, the Murph Blood, that was meant to be a blue slush. And there was just nothing cold to it whatsoever. A slush is meant to be cold, it's obviously made with ice, so... As for the flavour, yeah, it's like a blueberry raspberry slush. So let's fetch them back, guys. Give you some sort of order on these. Um, difficult, difficult. That, that, probably that, um, that. This is my order for these guys. Punch pineapple, I would probably give a good 8 out of 10. It's very nice. I'll definitely be vaping that again. The Freaky Fruits, I'd give a 7.5, just because it's a little bit strange, so it's something a bit different. That, um, you know, the fruits, the dark fruits, summer fruits, mixed with the melon, it's very refreshing, very different. The cola, is not a bad cola at all. I've had better, I've had worse, I'd give that like a 7, maybe a 6, no, I'll give it a 7. The Blue Slush, a 6.5, it's just because, you know, it's a Blue Slush, I've tasted them all before. There's nothing that really stands out. There is coldness in it though, so maybe bump that up to a 7 to match the cola. And the Tangy Twist. Again, a 7. Um, to be fair, these are about middle of the road sort of liquids, guys. I mean, they're not the best I've ever tasted, but they're nowhere near the worst, which I was expecting. So, just don't judge a book by its cover, guys. Just because I cracked, dripped on my hand and tasted and thought it tasted a little bit like chemically. But once I actually tasted them on the dripper... Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I will say just to point out that the cola one is a slightly darker colour, whereas the others seem to be more of a clearer liquid. But yeah, all in all, not a bad liquid, guys. There will be a link in the description if you want to go check them out, if you want to go pick some up. Um, we'll move on to the Nick Salts now, guys. But yeah, I were, I'm pleasantly surprised that these were a crack and a drip, and I'm probably going to vape at least two, maybe three bottles of that. I'll probably give the twister in the blue slush away, but that's just personal preference. So, I'm just going to be mainly talking about these guys. I have been testing these all week. I've been trying the different flavours, seeing what I thought. You know, I do like my Nick Salts a lot. I always have this around on me, the Inner Can EQ. I might be replacing this shot with something a little bit better, but we'll have to wait and see. There's nothing wrong with this, but there's just something I'm looking at. Right, so... We'll get into this one, guys, because this one's going to be a little bit different, because, as I say, I have already been vaping it, and I am trying to keep it nice and short for you. There is going to be still be a review of the liquids, but I have already been vaping these. I gave these some time because I do like my nicotine salts. So, first one, we've got Sensation X. It's a menthol. Now, on the website, they do list this as a cool menthol. I don't think it's that cold. Maybe it's just me, because I've been vaping a lot colder. For me, it's like a, meh, it's menthol. But it's not a strong menthol, it's not a particularly good menthol, it's just a menthol. I, if, if I use this Nick Salt, what I would probably do is mix it with something else to give it a bit of a menthol hit. That is probably about it. So I'll put that on over there. See, I'm looking forward to this one, the Lemon and Lime Lolly. Because I am really up on a lot of limes and stuff like that. Lemons, not, not always so much lemons, but lime and cola, cola and lime combinations. Really good Nick Salt that I've tried before. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this one. This is the lemon and lime. Um, and I vaped it, and it's nearly all lemon, guys. It is basically a lemon vape with the smallest hint of lime at the end. There's just not enough lime in it. Again, it's it's vapeable. I actually didn't mind it as, a, you know, I was vaping it, obviously, on the Nick Salts, on the uh, Inokin EQ. But, again, it's just there's something missing. And this has just turned out really back ass to front, guys, because I love my nicotine salts and I honestly believe that I was looking forward to doing these nicotine salts. And the liquids, not so much. And it's ended up the liquids are just a little bit better than nicotine salts. So, we've got the black, which is a blackcurrant menthol. I get blackcurrant, I get absolutely no menthol. Maybe the slightest little hint at the end. I just, I don't get it. You can't even, it, normally there's a little bit of a menthol smell as well. I've been vaping this one quite a lot and I was talking to a friend of mine about it and saying, it's not even the best blackcurrant I've ever had. It's it's like a middle of the road blackcurrant and the menthol so subdued, it, it, it wanted a bit more menthol to it than it had been more like, you know, blackcurrant menthol. You could have like the tune situation going, the blackcurrant tune and stuff. But no, it, again, I mean, that's three liquids and each one had something a little bit missing. I think these Nick Salts need to be 
looked at again and maybe played with a little bit and changed a little bit. But it is what it is. So moving on, we've got White. I'll be honest, guys, I did not have a fucking clue what this was. Not at all. I, I, I kind of said... I know I'm smelling it, guys. I have actually vaped this. Um, and it confused me a little bit. Um, I did this one in the siren. I just did a little bit in my siren. Um, I'd say it's Heisenberg sort of, like, flavour to it. Um, I did look up on the website and they've said Heisenberg question mark mystery flavour. So I'm guessing this is their kind of take on Heisenberg, but it's actually not bad. It's just a little strange because you're obviously used to a certain Heisenberg and yeah. So that one's not too bad. Then we have this Rocking Raspberry Sorbet. I was actually looking forward to this. I do like a nice raspberry, especially when it's got the tightness to it. And sorbet, I was thinking very sweet. As you can see, I have it quite a lot of this one. I've been really trying to pull it through. I've tried it on different things. Tried it on this. I also did try it on something a little bit older, a little bit old school. The Heat, heat Vape Invader with the Siren V2 on it. And uh, still got really the same results. A little bit of vanilla. Um... And raspberry and limey lemon. I'd say more lemon than lime. Um, when you look at the flavour composite, it does mention the vanilla. The vanilla is only very hintly in there. For me, it's not a sorbet. It's just it's like a, a raspberry lime. It, I don't get like the really sweet texture of a sorbet. And it's just not quite what I was expecting. Maybe that's on me, not the liquid. I wasn't overly fond. I kept trying it and trying it. I did vape quite a bit of it. So, it is vapable, guys. It is vapable. It just wasn't what I was expecting. Now, the blueberry bubblegum. I'm not always a massive fan of bubblegum. Um, I've just got a really nice grape from another company recently. They had a bubblegum, and it was strange at first. I am enjoying it, but it was strange. I actually enjoyed this. And I normally tend to pull away from the bubblegummy flavours, but th this one, for me, is probably one of the best ones they had. It is exactly what it says on the bottle. It's a chewy bubblegum. Really, and even when you smell it, you get that, like, the little pink and blue bubble gums from when you were a kid. So, yeah, that one's pretty much on point. So, if we're going to score the Nick Salts, give this one a 7, the bubble gum. Um, I'd probably then say, oh, the Mr. White, I'd give it a 6. The Black and the Raspberry, the, the Raspberry, I'd probably give it a 5. The Black, I'd give a 5. The Lemon and Lime's getting a 4, and the Sensation X gets like a 2, because it's just the worst menthol, not worst menthol I've ever had, but it's, it's just it's just low. There's menthol missing in that. I'm not getting much lime in that. It, it, if you're watching this, um, bro, I think you need to go back and then revisit your Nick Salts and just play around with the flavours a little bit, because the bigger flavours, these, absolutely on point, and I wasn't expecting it because of that slight chemically taste I would get when I test it on my finger. Maybe it would just it's maybe it's just the type of VG or PG that they use, I don't know. But vaped, I will recommend these. They are very nice. Uh, have a look, there is a website with it being called Ombre, obviously you're thinking like is it some brewed in someone's garage or bathtub or what have you? Hence why the jokey picture. But no, um there is a website. These don't seem too bad guys. I would probably recommend trying these out. The Nick Salts, however, I can't really recommend them. I really can't. Um they're just not for me guys, not for me at all. So but I have looked on the website and they have got other flavours in the Nick Salt range, and to be fair, the ones I didn't get sounded a little bit nicer than the ones I did get. So maybe it'll be something for me to look at in the future, try them again. But up to now I'm not really impressed with the Nick Salts. So I would probably push the own brew liquids rather than the Nick Salts. But there's the review, guys. I hope it hasn't dragged on too long for you. I am going to wrap it up. Um, and I am going to say, I hope you've enjoyed the review. If you have, ring that bell icon to get notifications. If you're subscribed, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And if there's anything you'd like to see change, by all means, leave a comment down below. I, as always, have been the Vape Invader, and I'll see you on the vape side. Why call me, don't you,